for me, like when I'm, especially when I do a trick and it launches me into the air, like off a fun box or off a quarter pipe or a vert, vert pipe, I'm always feeling like it's, it's like I'm flying for just a split second and a sense of falling at the same time and uh, freedom. Yeah, and, it, and it just, it's just great joy, that space. Uh, my name is Evie Ryder, and I've been skating for close to maybe 15 years. So the hardest thing with skateboarding has been the fear and the isolation when I skate and, and you're feeling so alone to the point where I've actually stopped skating for some time. It took a bit of a break. In um, Australia, you'll probably be the only female at the park. So it's not just the experience of going to skate, it's the experience of going to skate and somewhat standing out a little or feeling a bit lonely or just not having a peer group with you. One of my worst memories of the skate park is when I took my girlfriend and we were kissing at the side of the skate park and I had these little boys on the scooters come up to me and go, oh my god, are you gay? And like just tease us and I just felt like I had to leave because it just I didn't want to put up with that at a skate park and that was really sad because I really wanted to stay there a bit longer and have a bit more fun. But usually my worst memory is when I have to leave because someone teases me because of my sexuality or gender. A friend of mine started the Mature Women's Skateboarding Group of California and that is just um, a bunch of ladies that are over 35 that skateboard and like stereotypically for them to walk into a skate park with teenage boys is difficult. It's so difficult like of course they feel like they're going to get made fun of and they shouldn't be there and it's awkward so I think just the fact that they have each other as a group to go down to the skate park um, is amazing. As an older person now going to the skate park, obviously I don't look like a stereotypical female. I also don't look like a guy. So I think it's like, it can be very confusing for, for people sometimes. So a lot of the time now, mostly it's fine. Um, I will get often kids just, um, you know, asking me questions about my gender or asking me um, referring to me as though I was a teenage boy or, you know, like people interacting with me as though I was a 15-year-old guy because they just assume that. I don't know, I like to go to the skate park and have heaps of fun. Um, sometimes I'll just take my shirt off and skate around in like a bra and short shorts because it's funny, it's a joke. And I get really hot as well and I'm like, I get jealous because I'm like, the boys can take their shirt off. Why can't I take my shirt off and just skate around in a sports bra? It's fine. It's like a shirt. <laughs> to the boys out there, just please be supportive. So what keeps me skating now is I've been teaching uh, recently other girls how to skate and just that experience of skating with other women uh, them having the same feeling of isolation and, and struggling to feel safe at a skate park. Together when we go there helps break that down and it makes it funner and more enjoyable. Girl Skate Australia is, I guess we could call it an organisation for women in skateboarding. Basically it provides a platform for women in skateboarding in Australia to be recognised. Um, we run events, we run skateboarding clinics, competitions. It feels amazing to see other female skaters being a female skater myself, it's always exciting to see someone else doing what you're doing, um, find people that are motivated that are doing it, and it's amazing to see the younger generation coming up now, like skate girl skateboarding is really opening up in Australia, there's a lot more people doing it, so it's a lot more mainstream than it was before, so you're pretty much getting like a massive mixture of like so many different people, it opens up that opportunity to meet other people and make a lot more friends. Seeing other women skate, for me, has been the most amazing feeling. 
you know, recently I've had the opportunity to skateboard in national competitions with other women. And to see the skill level and the, and the passion and the dedication they bring to the sport, it actually really spurs me on to try harder in my own skating. If you're just starting out skateboarding and you're female, just try and remember that you belong skateboarding. It's yours to take. You should get in there and have a go. You, you don't have to be a pro skater. You just have to love what you're doing. Skating is it's all about how much you enjoy it. And it should always be about how much you enjoy it. Um, and never about what other people think of you when you're skating. How do you describe yourself? Oh, that's a very broad question too. I would describe myself as um, motivated, focused, a little wild, um, and adventurous. <laughs> really good answers. I love them. Uh -huh. But when I ask that, maybe I'd like to go with um, my name's Esther. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wild, adventurous, <laughs> and ready for you. <laughs> I think skateboarding's for everyone. The fact that it's sex doesn't really matter. It's just the skateboard, so it's more of an artistic thing, I think, so self-expression. But to see girls actually skating, I think it's really good because there's a bit of a bad stigma on it, just towards general male, female. But for to see a woman out there skating, doing it, it's like, yeah, extra props to them. It's, it's tough as a dude doing it, copping shit all the time. So to see a woman out there doing it, it's, it's pretty good. When Ali, we put that in my dance too.